What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a PlayStation emulator for iOS called Gamma. It's available for free on the App Store. And get this, it doesn't require a BIOS file, although some games may require it. So I will show you how to install one anyways. Also, one downside is that this emulator does have ads. Okay, go ahead and open the App Store and search for Gamma Emulator. This is what the emulator will look like. Also in the App Store, search for this app called Unzip. We are gonna use this app to extract our games and BIOS file. So here on my home screen, I have the Gamma Emulator, I have Unzip, and I have my Files folder. Let's go ahead and open that Files folder. Now I have created a folder inside of my Files folder called PS1. And inside of that folder, I have three games, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, and Tekken 3, as well as my PS1 BIOS. Now all four of these files need to be extracted. They are currently in a seven zip format. So let's go back to our home screen and let's go over to the unzipped app. Come down to the bottom and click on the plus icon and then select files and go ahead and locate wherever your PS1 ROMs and BIOS files are. In my case, they're in that files folder called PS1. And then I'm gonna select each one of these and open. Now to extract each one, all you wanna do is tap on it. So let's do Spyro the Dragon. Now extract. Once that file is extracted, you will have a new folder containing your extracted files. Now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing for my other two games and my BIOS file. Now I have all three of my games and BIOS file extracted. Now we no longer need the zip files, so we can go ahead and delete those. All you wanna do is press and hold on the zip file. So we'll do Spyro the Dragon, and then come over here and select delete. Okay. And we'll do the same thing for our three other files. Now let's go back to our home screen. Let's go back over to the files folder. And to the left under locations, tap on on my iPad or on my iPhone, depending on what you're using. Go over to the unzip app, go into my folder. And this is where you will find your extracted files. Now, just to show you what it looks like inside of one of these folders, you will find two files, a .q file and a .bin file. The .bin file inside of that folder is what will launch the game in the Gamma emulator. Now you can leave all of your extracted game files and BIOS file inside of the unzipped file folder, or we can move these files over to that other folder that I had named PS1. Either way, it's up to you, but you can launch these games from whatever folder using the Gamma emulator, you just have to locate that folder. So in my case, I'm just gonna leave them here in the unzip folder. Now let's open Gamma. You must agree to the terms and conditions, continue. Allow Gamma to track your activity. I'm gonna do X app not to track. Now let's add our games to the emulator. Come up to the top right and click on the plus button and select files on device. Under locations, go to on my iPad I'm gonna go over to unzip my folder and it kind of sucks that you have to do it this way but you're gonna have to upload one game at a time so let's do crash bandicoot and remember i said that bin file is the game check it open and there's our game now i know that's a lot of work to add your games but you're gonna have to repeat that to add another game Okay, I now have all three of my games uploaded into the emulator. Now, if you notice, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon has box art. Tekken 3 does not. So if you get any games that don't upload box art, what you wanna do is press and hold on that game. And then you wanna go over to change artwork and go to games database. And type in the name of that game And then it will give you different box art to choose from. I'm gonna choose this one down here at the bottom. And there we are. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, you do not need a BIOS file to run most games on this emulator, 
but some games will require a BIOS file to load. So to load your BIOS file into the emulator, you wanna go up to settings, which will be in the top left. Then under emulation settings, click on gamma. And you're gonna see BIOS file not installed. So tap over here where it says not installed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and locate my BIOS file, which is right here. And now instead of saying not installed, I have a check mark, which means I have a working BIOS. Now let's go back. Now under controller type, it's gonna say player one. And if you have any controller connected to your iPad, it's gonna show up here. In my case, I have a PS5 controller attached to my iPad. So it says DualSense wireless controller. I prefer to use a controller instead of on-screen touch controls. Now, if you have multiple controllers connected to your phone or iPad, tap on the arrow over here and you will see all of your connected controllers here. Now, if you are gonna be using on-screen touch controls and you wanna customize your controls, then right here, you have the option to customize your controller layout. And also, if you're gonna be using touch controls, then right here where it says controller skins, you have the option to choose which skin you want to use. Now, since I am gonna be using a controller, then I want to turn the controller skin transparency all the way up to 100%. This way I do not see any on-screen touch controls. Now let's go up to done. Now the really sad part about this emulator is that we have no graphics options. Maybe we will get this option in the future. We would just have to wait and see. Now let's go ahead and load up a game. Just tap on the game you wanna play. We'll do Crash Bandicoot and the game will load. Now sometimes you will see an ad before the game loads and sometimes you won't. And while you are in game, if you press the PlayStation button, it will bring up the options to access your save state, load state, and fast forward. If you are using on-screen touch controls, you will have to swipe from the top of your screen to access this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.